if I'm swinging down and that club is wide open, how am I going to hit a golf ball straight? I'm going to have to scoop. So therefore. So today we're going to look at some keys to stop scooping. Why do you scoop and how we can stop it? So we'll look at some simple things that are going to make a real difference to your golf game straight away. The scoop, this action, is something I hate the feel of when I ever hit golf balls and I do it. But from coaching, it gives you really poor control on that club face and really can poor control on your strike and your low point. So it's a real misery position in the golf swing. As we said there in the introduction, we're looking really today stopping the scoop. Now, why do we scoop? If we think about it logically, if I'm swinging down and that club face is wide open, how am I going to hit a golf ball straight? I'm going to have to scoop. So therefore, the scoop is a fix for the fault. So we have to be very careful. The idea would be then to work on the club face as we swing down and getting the club face into a more closed position rather than the wide open position. Lots of ways you can do this. You could stick a T on the face if you want to and make it point more towards the ground. Look at your wrist action, try and make the glove point more down and back behind you. But really just try and you know look at the leading edge of this club head and try and get it more facing downwards rather than facing back behind you to give you a feeling of, of a change of that club facing the way down. So that's kind of for me error number one that causes the scoop. Error number two, it happens a lot when people don't turn. So if my body stops, well, my arms are going to accelerate and they're going to fire and then they're going to start to scoop. So what we want to do is make sure we're really accelerating and turning and repositioning our body towards where we want to go. You know, it's, it's sometimes a bit about the conceptual. Don't think about hitting the golf ball. Think about hitting through the golf ball and hitting towards almost heart of the sky pelvis round and really try and feel that we're really driving our body through the golf ball and letting our hands follow. Our hands are definitely going to accelerate, our hands are definitely going to release but the key is most people, most golfers don't use the body enough so therefore overemphasizing in this area is going to help you. The last major reason for me is more conceptual. I've talked about this quite a few times on my channel when you get particularly a new golfer they see success as kind of that golf ball going up in the air. So the weight stays on the trail foot and the hands flip. You know, the right hand particularly is more dominant and they tend to get that club working backwards through the ball quite a lot. So again, we want to definitely make sure that we are pushing, rotating, rotate and relocating to our lead side. Ideally, with what we feel is a strong club facing the downswing. The combination of these things are key. So from a practicing point of view, Feel the club face close, rotate and relocate, and pose our finish. And try and hold that finish until the ball kind of lands. Try and feel that we've got that pressure to the lead side. Try and feel that in the finish here, our chest is pointing more towards the sky and ideally left of target. Okay, if you haven't got the mobility to quite get left, then get it as far as you can. And the less you can get it round, we understand that the hands are going to work a bit more and they'll need to work more, otherwise, you won't hit straight shots. If I have a stiff hand action and the body only goes to here, the balls will go to the right. So the hands will have to work more if the body works less. And we definitely want them to work. As I said, it's not about all body, not hands. It's not what happens. There's a sequence. The body should accelerate, then decelerate, and then the hands would accelerate and decelerate and so on. We want that firing sequence to be correct. That's what we see with most elite golfers, that there's definitely an acceleration to the body then it decelerates and then the arms and wrists would accelerate after that. Just like if you throw a ball, your body would go, this stops, then the hand gets, the, gets basically all the force and speed at that later point. That's definitely what happens in golf too. As I said, the biggest issue I see with most golfers is the body might stop and decelerate too quickly and the hands accelerate too early. And that might be because they're so fixated on technique or it might be that they're not trying to get too left of the target, whatever it might be. But the big key things for me is we have to swing our body hard and left and let our arms follow. And ideally the club face has got to be in a strong position. So check your grip. If your grip is also in the weak, which means too far rotated to this side, that'll open the club face too. So if your grip's neutral or strong, try and concentrate then on toe down, transport the body.
struck it well a little bit too much draw again i'm trying to get that club face a bit more close but certainly really strong shot really well hit and really pleased with that hope you've enjoyed that take on why you might flip and those are definitely the reasons i see with 23 odd years experience of why flipping happens obviously there is some conceptual stuff in there too if you have enjoyed it please click like and share the video also please post any questions or comments or feedback down below i really welcome them thank you for tuning in today hope you're practicing your golf wherever you can obviously there's certain countries that are in lockdown but i hope you're practicing your golf even if it's in the garden or in the house to get some positions and stuff to make you play better golf for when we get back on the courses hope to see you here again very soon thank you for tuning in today